can a superbike beat a Land Cruiser V8 in a series of off-road races? Let me tell you about this Land Cruiser that I'm saying. I bought it for £5,000 with 275,000 miles on the clock. It's from 2002 with a lovely green exterior paint and beige interior. Very period. So it's got a 4.7 litre naturally aspirated V8 that puts out a colossal, not, 235 horsepower and 434 newton metres of torque, driving all four wheels via a four speed automatic gearbox with low range mode and a centre locking diff, which I can turn on and off. Now let's find out about the bike from Chris Northover from Bike World TV. Hello, Chris. Matthew, what a pleasant surprise. You're not wearing your normal leathers today, but you're still on a superbike. <laughs> this is a bit weird. When you guys said, let's do an off-road drag race, I was quite excited. And then when you said I had to do it on a sports bike, <laughs> I, th I, th I thought something quite rude that I won't repeat. So tell me exactly what you're sat on right there. So this in 2002 was the pinnacle of superbikes. This is the GSX-R1000 K2, 140 horsepower, 198 kilos. It was the ultimate superbike when it came out. And then we've changed it a bit. So that's interesting. Your vehicle's from 2002. My vehicle is from 2002. Mine costs 5,000 pounds. How much was your bike? Well, in a spectacular example of how to waste money on something silly, the bike itself costs three grand for one of these. Then we've spent about two grand's worth of labor and work. So we're looking at five grand as well. Obviously with ours, we've did quite a lot to fit the motocross front wheel to it, to make some armor plating underneath. The guys at RNG custom 3D printed us some wings because I feel that's going to be critical for today's challenges. What? Why have you got wings? They're my depth gauge. If the water goes over the top of the wings, I know I'm about to drown the bike. And that brings me on to the actual challenges that we're going to be doing. This is the first challenge. It's an uphill drag race on this very squidgy surface. We're going to race a pair, whichever vehicle finishes in the shortest time wins. It's as simple as that. Then we're going to do some other challenges, which could get quite leery. Anyway, let's start off with the drag race. I'm going to go with my car in normal range but with the center locking diff and the stability control off and i'm just going to brake boost it what's your tactic for this i'd like to have something intelligent to say here but i haven't <laughs> i'm just going to sit as far back as i can wind the throttle open and dump the clutch and see what happens <laughs> it is mad i wonder if we're going to get through all these challenges with chris and his bike in one piece <laughs> come on <laughs> What's going on with this? I'm not even going to make it up here. That's a disaster. I've got to make it up. Uh, let's go, let's try low range. I'm going to chalk that up as a win. Just give it power. Come on! It feels like it's going to stall. I'll get out of the way if I were you, Chris, because I'm coming. I'm coming this way. Doesn't sound happy at all. This is not what I expected. There's a strange beeping coming from the car. Right. I'm going to have to go down. <laughs> this is just bollocks. That looked more scary than what I had to do. <laughs> Wait an absolute minute. I want a rematch and I want to go on the right hand side. Can we call that 1 0 though, Matt? It's definitely 1 0. <laughs> I didn't even make it up there. You go on the nice good side. I've proven how good that side is. And I'm going to go up this utter mess you've made over here and see if I can still get to the top before you. Come on, please get up there at least. Three, two, one. Got some momentum this time. Come on. Come on, get up there! Whoa! <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> that was close at that time, wasn't it? You had it? me worried there. Oh, thank you very, very much for letting me have a second chance, but you still won. That was so impressive. That 
It's terrifying knowing that two and a third of a ton is coming up the hill flat out <laughs> next to you. Next to and to tell you the truth, I had very little control. Anyway. <laughs> don't tell me that. You won. We don't need to check the times. Two points to you, one point to me. Thankfully, I didn't fail it that time. Right, on to the next. In this challenge, what we're going to do is a slow race down this slope. The idea being that the vehicle which makes it down in the longest time wins. It's all about control. I'm going to go low range mode, pulse the brake as I'm going down. Don't know what Chris is going to do. Hopefully not fall off. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I have to brake before him. No, come on, come on, pulse the brake, come on. Yes, I've got him. I've got him. It's sliding. <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn it, Chris! <laughs> Can't even get round to chat to me. Uh, that, that was fully sideways I, on the lock. Going, I'm going to go down upside down in a minute. <laughs> tell you what. To be fair, in the last challenge, you let me have another go. Would you like another go, or do you think it's just going to be the same? Can I save my second attempt for later when I need it? Because I don't think I can go down there any slower. <laughs> okay, right there you go. You got I'm a second attempt that. for maybe later. Yeah, cool. <laughs> let's Perfect. do it. Let's move on. That means though, two points to me. One point to you. Steven, Steven. Steven, three each. Next, can we have a challenge that involves going through a really narrow gap? Okay. <laughs> this next challenge is about traction and maneuverability. So Graham is going to tie me as I drive through this little course, around the tree, over the ruts, divots, through the puddles, and then past those cones. The vehicle that does it quickest wins. Three, two, one. Go. Go on, traction. I want to get on the brakes here and get round. Oh. Get round, get round, get round, get round in one, get round in one, get round in one, get round in one. Don't hit the tree. All right, we're good now. Fly me. Is that all right? Yeah. You happy with that? I might be able to go a bit quicker, but not much. Had to watch, like, just understeering yeah, so when I came to the corner. It was a bit close, it, floor wise. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you've done it. 22.16, look, yeah. there's the proof. There we go. Right, let's see how Chris can do on the bike. Chris, over to you. It's a nutter. I think he's gone quicker than me through there. And obviously, the bike is much narrower. He got round there quicker than me. Wow, this is going to be fast, this is. <laughs> Mate, do you know what? I hope you won. I think you did. That was so quick. You deserve to have won. Come on, Graham. Come you on, Graham. Tell me how deep they were. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what he got. Don't say. Whoa! <laughs> Clear win. 16.6. <laughs> well done. Well deserved. There's no way I'm going to go quicker than that. No. No way. That bike's awesome. Two points to you. One point to me. I'm on four points. You're on five. Bike's in the lead. For this next challenge, we're going to race down this side slope and the vehicles have to be on the slope. Go around the cone, then back up again. Whoever does it quickest wins. I'm gonna go slow into this so I don't just roll it. Now I'm in it, go down. We come here, gonna just break for that and then, oh, oh, this is horrible. Fly me. Get some momentum up to go around here. Go and turn. Oh, this thing is bloody tough. Oh, right, let's find out how quick or slowly I did that. That was quite quick. <laughs> Come on. Okay. 24.02. That is the time for Chris to beat. This is tough, this it's is. A tough old thing, these are, yeah. Whoa. These are these, like tanks. <laughs> Let's see what that bike's like. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. 
That was horrible. Are you sure you want to see this? <laughs> but, yeah. I, that was horrible. <laughs> but it's so well done. I kind of wanted you to be in the middle of the slope. <laughs> Did you now? Would that have been harder? I wanted to be in the middle of the slope. I was aiming for the middle of the slope. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was he on the slope enough, Graham? He was on the top, but you actually went up the slope a little bit too far. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go, too far. <laughs> and turned around at the bottom there, it was on the slope. And actually a nice spectacular jump at the end as well. Were you still on the slope the whole time? I, w I was on the slope the whole time, but I was not in control of where I was the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, but you st it was so quick. Let me guess the time, another 16 seconds. You're close. Okay, what was it? 18.24. Wow, well done, Chris. Absolute legend. <laughs> thank you for <laughs> thank you for your generous interpretation of the regulations. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fair enough because I wasn't worried at all. I was more worried about breaking the car. You were worried about breaking a leg. Yeah. So fair enough. <laughs> Two points to Chris, one point to me. So seven to you, five to me. Want to sell your car quickly, easily, and for a fair price? Then head to CarWow to have over 4,000 trusted dealers ready to bid on it in an online auction. First, enter your car's registration to get an instant approximate valuation. Then, if you want to proceed, give us some more details and upload some photos, and we'll help you set a fair reserve price for your car. That's the minimum amount you'd be happy to sell it for. Once you've done that, we'll enter your car into an online auction. When the auction's over, we'll let you know the result, and the dealer with the winning bid will be in touch to arrange easy payment and free collection of your car. 93% of sellers surveyed said they got the price they expected, or more, through CarWow. The best bit is, it's completely free! I put a link in the description of this video and the pinned comment to take you directly to CarWow where over 4,000 dealers are ready to bid on your car. Or you can just click on the pop-out banner that should be appearing in the top right-hand corner of the screen now. Alternatively, just Google Help Me CarWow and we will help you sell your car quickly, easily and for a fair price. On with the video. For this next challenge, we're gonna race up the hill and then back down it. To time it, we're actually gonna time the first section going up, then pause the clock, allow both vehicles to turn around, and then time them again as they're running down. And the vehicle that does it in the shortest time overall wins. Come on, Toyota. Yes, felt good. Three, two, one. Whoa, you beauty. <laughs> the tank did the job. <laughs> what do you reckon to that, Graham? That was spectacular, wasn't it? And nothing <laughs> broke? Nothing broke. <laughs> Go on, what have we got? Oh, whoa! Combined, 16.16 seconds. That's pretty good. That was probably quick. Ooh, all to play for. <laughs> that, that was epic. <laughs> Nothing to do with me, it's to do with this thing. seconds, darling. Somewhere watching this is going to be some quaint old boy going, <laughs> That was my old car, and he'll be <laughs> sobbing when he sees that. <laughs> well, someone is going to be watching who wants to own a GSX-R1000 going, what? Yeah. That's going off road? <laughs> Why <laughs> not? <laughs> Let me do that with it. Okay. Fair, fair point. Let's find out how you do. Three, two, one. <laughs> that is really quick. <laughs> That was amazing. <laughs> I, I think you beat me. I really do. I think you beat me by quite a bit. Do you think Suzuki realised they'd built an off-road bike and they made this? <laughs> Come on then, Graham. Let's have a look. Right. Let me, you think you won by quite, uh, no, quite a bit? I think he won yeah. by quite a bit. Yeah, you think so, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh. That's close. Ooh. 14 point. 
four zero. Still a win though, Chris. Just Still a win. I'll wow. Take the win. Two points to Chris. One point to me. That means I'm on six and he's on nine. Right, this next challenge is a rock crawl, so I'm gonna drive over the rocks. I'm gonna have to have my wheels going over some of the brutal rocks. That's part of the rules. Graham's gonna time me, see how quick I do or do not do this. Hmm. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm literally worried about this. Not, not sure. I can't even see Graham now, and I don't know where I'm going. Uh. Oh, Graham. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, come on, Land Cruiser. Look, no, oh, it's bottoming out. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, it's so hard. Oh, come on. Don't bottom out. Don't bottom out. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Don't want to rip the bottom out of the car going over these last naggly bits, but I still want to go quickly. Come on! Up, oh, way, and we're out. Oh, that was tough. Graham! That was tough. It was. So, what we got? Uh, it's oh. not too bad. <laughs> it's a to 49.86. Slowest time of the day. Right. Yes. It's going to beat me. You couldn't have done that any quicker with this. The bike's going to beat me, I'm sure of it. But then, there are some nasty bits for him to get over. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, a legend! <laughs> Try and pull it that way. <laughs> Damn, he's stuck. <laughs> I am stuck. <laughs> That's exactly the same size as my front wheel. <laughs> and you're like, you're bottoming out as well. Good job you got that protection. So Matt. Yeah. You remember earlier when I gave you a second go at something? No. <laughs> you remember earlier when I... <laughs> yes. <laughs> can I have another go? You can definitely have another go. Am I allowed to put a rock in that hole? No. <laughs> okay. I might need a lift. A lift? Yeah. Right, what, what shall I do? If you could hold the clutch in. I can do that. Work. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna fall on me. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm not really doing anything here, Chris. <laughs> I'm just useless. With no help whatsoever from the crew. <laughs> you got it? No, I've got nothing. <laughs> I've got the clutch in, that's all I'm doing. Right, I reckon we're there. Okay. Got him back up right? Yeah. Can I move away from it now? You can please? let go now. That's the most motorcycling you've done for a while, eh? Yeah, I don't like them. <laughs> Chris's second attempt. <laughs> oh, no! Why'd you go in there again, you idiot? <laughs> okay, because you got off the bike. Oh, come on. It's impressive. 20 second pace. Oh, no. <laughs> come on, Graham. That's brutal. <laughs> Your time before the penalty was 37 seconds. Oh, no. So the penalty? 57. Oh. <laughs> you, could, you, you don't sound at all sorrow. I, I, I slightly am. Um, <laughs> do you know? 
I reckon you'd have been faster just walking it the whole way through. <laughs> it would have been faster just walking. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, so you get one point though. I'll take my one point and never do that again. So 10 points to you. I get two. I was on six, I'm on eight. So it's eight, 10. Eight, 10. I've got two points in hand. Two points in hand, but two more challenges. Can we go somewhere less rocky? No. <laughs> <laughs> this next challenge is all about just power and traction. I'm gonna razz the car up the hill and Graham is gonna time me. We'll see how quick I can do it and whether the bike can go up even quicker. Can I even get up though? I don't know, let's find out. Three, two, one. Get the power in, come on car. Oh yes! <laughs> I'd like to see the bike beat that. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> 358! No! Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, wow! What's the time? Do you know? I don't know. Graham's oh. got the got the time. That was impressive, though. That was really scary. Especially the little jump at the end. I like that. <laughs> so yours? What was 3. it? 3.58. Yeah, 3.58. Ooh. Seven, one, three. Seven Ooh. seconds? Yeah. How did you do it in four seconds? How did I do it? That? You, I, I don't know how you did it in four seconds. I bet you couldn't do it again, but yeah. We're not going to try. <laughs> 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 wow. One point to you, two to me. Still ahead, 11 to 10 points. And the last challenge involves deep water. <laughs> <laughs> and I ride inside the vehicle and you ride on a vehicle, <laughs> fully exposed. But there's a twist to it. <laughs> Wait till you see what I've got in store. Time for the final challenge. So I'm gonna drive down the slope through the water, which I'm not sure exactly how deep it is. Then up the other side, past the cones, Graham's timing, whichever vehicle does it in the quickest time, wins all to play for because it's 10 points to me 11 to chris on the bike so i need to win to at least draw but if the water's really deep he might sink or i might sink i don't know someone could get disqualified by not completing the challenge Go! it's the water but i don't want to go too quickly because i've just got to maintain a nice steady bow wave oh we don't want that much water I can feel the water underneath the truck. It's a good bow wave, this is. Wow, really good bow wave. Please with that, accelerate up here. Come on! Wow! That felt quick. That was a Hawaii 5 0 tsunami coming up in front of there. <laughs> it was good bow yeah, wave, wasn't it? It was, yeah. 23 63. Pleased with that? Yeah, it's good. good. Mm. What's Chris gonna do? Go! Oh, no brakes! Oh, no! <laughs> it was up to my waist! <laughs> Do you know what? I could see it coming through there. And the water was just like, there's your air intakes there. I had to keep the front wheel on the bank, that's why it was crabbing. If oh. the front wheel had gone in, it had drowned. It was so close. So like, I think the water was just there, almost getting sucked into the engine. Oh my God. Oh. You, you cruel bugger. <laughs> that's my favourite, to be honest. With you. That, was, that was so much fun. What? Yeah. What did I get? 23. It's not bad, honestly. You smoked me. <laughs> 27, smoked me. 39. To be fair, 
Wow. <laughs> um, do you know what? That's a draw because it's two points to me, one to you. Yeah. <laughs> Woof. Have you got a tie break? It's, it's, it's 12 each. Do you know what? Do I have a tie break? It doesn't involve the water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think, even though it's 12 points each, I think you win, right? Because you've taken a super bike, you put some knobbly tires on it, you have ridden incredibly and just going through there made me laugh so much <laughs> <laughs> that you get an extra bonus point it for just generous. sheer comedy value because it was so funny 13 points to you 12 to me it's a win for the bike well done, done chris congratulations thank you matt <laughs> can i have a lift home uh, <laughs> yeah if you want in fact gray wants to lift home on the back of this yeah, done. Yeah. <laughs> i hope you enjoyed the video if you did give it a like click on the video windows for some more videos and on the car logo for a special surprise thanks for watching <laughs>